Handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Sunland Park here on Sunday. It is February the 25th, 2018. We're going to look at the stakes races on today's program from Sunland, but before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at HorseracingKid5 for more selections for race courses around the world. So let's get on to it. We're going to look at the stakes races, the late pick three basically, races seven, eight, and nine. So let's get on to race number seven from Sunland, which is the Island Fashion Stakes per $75,000. It's for three year olds here, three year old fillies, field of six horses going the 1600 meter trip or one mile on the dirt. My top pick in this race, I like the number four, one, the number four horse here, Blamed. I'm gonna go 4163 in the Super Facta, 4163 Super. Top pick number four, Blamed, two to one here. Uh, Ken Tohill's on this three year old filly by Blame, hence the name Blamed. Most recently, a horse had a start the 20th of January. They came here locally at Sunland, six and a half rungs in the El Paso Times. Stakes. Horse won by four and a half lengths that day. Broke on top. Was a little bit dueling early, but you know, it was a very easy walk in the park on the lead all throughout. Very nice, easy victory. I think second off the late, second off the layoff, getting a mile shouldn't be a problem. This is a very speed favoring race course. Start before the fifth of December at Zia. Five and a half rungs, lounge race, twenty four thousand nine one. Horse won by three and three quarter lengths that day. Didn't have the best breaks that day, but after that went straight to lead. Then look back, a very nice easy victory that day again. And then the thir 31st of October, Zia, six frongs, means best weight, 23. Horse won by nine and a half lengths. Again, didn't break all that well, but again, on the lead all throughout after that. Very easy victory. I do like this horse here. The main speed of the race, I think she's got some easy fractions. Watch out for her. So to recap my bets for the seventh from uh, Sunland, I almost said Zia, but the seventh from Sunland to recap, I like, it's the Island Fashion Stakes. Going to go with the four horse. Going to go four, one, six, three in the Superfecta. So now let's get on to race number eight from Zia. The eighth race, it is the current bot handicap per $75,000. It's for three-year-olds and upwards here. Field of nine horses going the distance of ground of 1,700 meters or one mile and one-sixteenth on the dirt. Top pick in this race, I like the number eight horse, Sky Defense. Going to go 8-4-6-2 in the Superfecta. 8-4-6-2 Super. Top pick number eight, Sky Defense, 9-2. Ken Tallhill is on this one also for um, uh, Susan Arnent, who trains his five-year-old gelding by first defense. Most recently, horse had to start the 6th of February at Sunland, one mile on Opsa 35 Claimer. A lot of these horses are coming out of that race. This horse finished third by three and three quarter lengths that day. And, you know, was setting the pace early on, just kind of hit the wall at the, at the end of the race. It wasn't his day to win i do like this horse if he could just if he could sit stalking the, uh, the leaders t today and i do think if he does that i do think he should run well start before it's on land one mile in the, in the wish him lad handicap horse won by three and three quarter lengths that day from wide post draw was dueling a little bit early uh and then took off clear a very nice easy victory and then optional 25 claimer at sunland six snap rungs december 26 horse finished second by two lengths he just was stalking the pace that day a little bit wide and just really couldn't keep up with them but i do think the distance wasn't real as he was liking I do think the 1700 or a mile 16th distance should really be up to this horse's liking here today, and I think he should run well, so he'll be my top pick. So to recap my bets for the 8th from Sunland, it's the Kurabat Handicap. Going to go with the 8-horse Sky Defense. Going to go 8-4-6-2 in the Superfecta. So now let's get on to today's featured ninth race from Sunland, and it's the Nightcap also. The ninth race, it's the Mind That bird derby purse hundred thousand dollars it's for three-year-olds here field of nine three-year-olds going the 16 the going the 1700 meter trip or one mile and one sixteenth on the dirt this is the local prep race for the sunland derby coming up in about four weeks maybe three four weeks something like that um and it's always a good race i must say but um this race is a decent one also um my top pick in this one i like the number four horse runaway ghost gonna go four one six seven in the super factor four one six seven super top pick number four runaway ghost three to one this uh three old cult by ghost zapper tracy herbert is on this one for todd fincher most recently horse had to start the 20th of january i came here at sunland one mile in the in the uh riley allison sticks horse won by seven and three-quarter lengths that day broke on top and just you know st stalked the uh, pace out of that day but got the lead in the stretch and then took off clear very nice easy victory um another on great race for his first start in new mexico start before the 9th of december that came at los al mile 16th in a grade one los al maturity horse finished fifth by 36 lengths was setting the pace early on then just hit the wall completely it just wasn't his day to win the better horses got to him this race is not nearly as tough as that uh um 
as that low salaries. Um, so just keep that in mind. Uh, and then before that, when the 11th of November first started nearly six months in the uh, Golden Nugget Stakes, horse won by seven and a half lengths, broke on top, and was almost on the lead all throughout. Have a very nice, easy victory that day. Um, I, I do like this horse here today, so uh, hoping my top pick. So to recap my bets for the ninth from Sunland, it's the Mind That Bird Derby. Going to go with the Four Horse Runaway Ghost. Going to go 4167 in the Superfecto. So good luck to all, and please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kid 5. Good luck, everybody.